Hello everyone, and today I'm going to show you how to do some awesome photography for your Halloween shoots. So to, basically what I did for mine is I had a pumpkin and then I had smoke pouring out of it. Now I didn't actually have a smoke grenade because it took too long for them to arrive and I couldn't make one. Well I did make one and it just turned into a gooey mess. So I thought I'm just going to add it into post. Now I did this by making my own brush out of clouds or you can even download some brushes from down, from down in the description and you can basically do the exact same thing that I'm going to do, you just don't have to create your own brushes. If you don't fancy downloading your brush from online, you can always create your own. So what you want to do, you want to get an image of something like a cloud. And then what you want to do, you want to like select one cloud that you think looks kind of smoky. You'll lash it around that and copy it across to a new document. Now within that new document, you want to create a new black layer underneath that so you can see the different contrasts when you go into your channels. And within your channels, you want to find the highest different contrast from a black to the white and you'll select onto that and you'll copy that. And then on that copied layer, still in your channels, you'll want to go on to adjustments and then you'll want to go on to levels. And then you'll adjust the levels until you just basically get the white and the black. So you want to click Control and Alt and click on that layer. And then from there, you'll see that it's highlighted. You'll then want to create a new layer and then you want to fill that with black by pressing Control and Backspace. And it will fill that area that's selected with black. And then from there, you can create your brush. So now you've created your brush or you've got the brush you've downloaded and you paint with it and it looks a bit rubbish. So what you want to do, you want to go onto the brush settings and you want to change the, so you want to change the angle jitter and the size jitter. And what that'll do, it'll basically randomize the brush a bit more so it looks a bit more scattered, but it still looks not so good. So you want to go onto transparency and then change the transparency settings. And then what that'll do, it'll basically change the settings, randomize how up opacity is. And it basically makes that more gives it more depth to it and gives it some shadows. Now when you paint with it, it you have this loads of randomised sh shapes that look a bit like, like smoke. Now you've got your brush that can paint smoke. Now you want to apply it to an image. So how do you do that? Well if you want to have it a bit like I have and you've got it coming out of places, well what you want to do, you want to make the brush slightly smaller and then you make it come out the eyes and wherever you want it to come out of. In my case it's the mouth, eyes and nose. And I made this quite small and made it come out a bit. Then I made the brush a lot bigger and it went off the way that I wanted the wind to be blowing. And it still didn't look like quite good. And when you're painting it and you'll notice that it's slightly see-through and that's what you want. But some bits you don't want it to be see-through. So what you want to do, you want to create a black layer on your main image. And then on that main image, you want to create a mask. And then on that mask, you paint black wherever you don't want the image to show. And it'll basically make the smoke really, really a bit more visible. And what you want to do, you want to basically get a sharp line on the eyes and etc. And what that'll do is basically make it look like it's coming out of the pumpkin or whatever the object is of your smoke. Um, but, but you also want it to have like a slight fade away so you can change your opacity of this by moving the cursor up to the white or change the opacity of the brush that you're using to paint on the mask. And what that'll do is basically make the smoke gradually more see-through, making it more realistic. So, that, so now you've done that and it looks good, and it looks good, but it still doesn't look good enough because it's not fitting on the environment. You need to add a shadow to it. So what I did, I added the shadow to the smoke. So I copied the layer of the smoke I added, moved it down and slightly to the side. And then I changed it to black and white and changed the opacity very, very slightly. And then I put a mask layer on that and removed it where the smoke was. And it made it look like it had a shadow to it. And that basically gave it some depth, making it look like it's interacting with the environment. And if I didn't do that, it would look good, but it would be something off with it because it wasn't interacting with the environment. Now you've done the image, it basically looks about like this. And it looks like the smoke is very, very realistic, but it's very, very tricky to get the smoke to look like it's actually there. So it takes a bit of practicing and a lot of messing around until you actually get this right. Thank you for watching everyone. If you want to see more for filming, for photography or editing techniques, subscribe up there or down there. Thank you for watching everyone and bye bye.